This meeting is being recorded and will be uploaded to the Town of Amherst YouTube channel. Thanks everyone for all of your efforts and your hard work. Thanks, Angela. All right, thank you. So yeah, being that she just read that thing, I think I don't have to read it. Hey, Dara. hey there. Huzzah. All right. Um, you see, so that, that I think Jim Jim decided to go. <laughs> Go sleep. So who are we missing? Just Jim then and Mikey. Mikey. And what's Mikey's full name? Michelle. Michelle Burnett Cutting. There you go. Okay, so I um uh, are there any members of the public here? I'm nope. not seeing anybody. Okay, um, and then chair report. We've got a few things. I'm gonna try and speed through. Um, the, okay, so I talked to, well, I was in e email exchange with the um, finance team and um, the deduct, this is about regarding um, poetic dialogue, the, deductible to get the insurance to do it is five thousand dollars so it's not worth it to do the insurance thing so we're back to i'm um, trying to fund that with our extra money that we had from that you trying to fund the repairs yeah okay of robert frost getting torn down is that incumbent upon us to do uh, or it, pay the $5,000, that's insane. It is. Okay. Uh, it's The, the cost is $5,000 or the deductible is $5,000? The deductible is 5000 Okay. So it's not worth it unless it's like well over 5000 Was this piece meant to last forever? Is there a reason, like, do we want to spend money on this? Is that something we can vote on or is that just something we have to do? It's not clear, like if this has to fall on us or if we can try and plead with the DPW some more about it. Um, What's the, the estimated cost? cost for the repair? There isn't exactly one. It's um, um, Kamal Peters would be in charge of doing it and it's negotiable. Okay. It would be- Is that the oh, artist? Uh, the like, original artist is like long gone, but he is the guy that um, refurbished it recently. Kamal Peters is in charge for doing the repair. He he did the last repair. Yeah, he did the last repair, and he's um, an Amherst native. And uh, it's is he an artist? Yeah, he is. A, he's a metal artist. Like most of his work is like doing. Like he did that bench that's in front of the Drake right now. I don't okay. know if you've seen that. Okay. So you said it's negotiable, like the cost to repair this is negotiable with Kamal? Yeah, he's okay. willing to um, play ball as far as like what we could afford if we took it on. What can we afford? <laughs> we probably need a treasury report. I have no idea what we even have budgeted. Yeah, I... <laughs> I think we could afford up to um, $600, almost $600. It would be like $500 because we put away like $600 for groundskeeping and stuff like that for the DPW. And then we only spent, I want to say like 142 or something like that. Okay. So we'd have to cut kind of money around from our budget. Okay. Yeah. And so like we can afford up to $500 um to be taken out of our budget yeah out of that original budget when i talked with um robin thompson and i gave her the final receipts for that she said in her great wisdom that she was still going to um cover for the whole thing because she foresaw like expenses coming up about it that robert's got his hand up okay 
Um, so I'm, I'm not clear. It is is the Public Art Commission responsible for ongoing maintenance of this sculpture or what, what is the agreement or arrangement? It's not, I don't think it's written down anywhere that we be responsible, but it's like no one else is gonna probably do it if we don't push it. You know what I mean? It's like one of those things. Well, again, I, um, What what is the total amount of money that the Public Art Commission has in our account? Uh, let me look in our thing. Mind you, two thousand of this money is for the um the Boltwood the Bolt whatever it's called the uh the peak people gallery thing. What's that? I don't know what that is. The uh, that gallery that's, that's over behind the um, like where Judy's used to be that place. Oh, oh that project. Yeah. The parking garage elevator. Got it. Yes. Yeah. Thank you. Do we have two thousand dollars in the budget for that. Wow. Yeah. And and when that decided for that to be two thousand dollars. Um, that was what we requested from the uh, Amherst um, Art Council, or not the Art Council. Okay. Okay. Cultural Council. Ah, Cultural Council. Cultural Council, okay. Cultural Council um, gave us 2000 for that, but um, our final receipts for that actually have to be in um, at the end of spring, they said. So that, that we do need to work on that too, but that was... A, that brings up another quick question, if you don't mind. And I think Robert probably has the same question. Okay. Um, we So we get money from the Cultural Council. Do we apply for grants or do we ask them for money? And do we go to the Finance Committee for the town to ask for money at all? Um, we have never get any money from the town. Um, you never get any money from the town? No, it's all from the Cultural Council. We apply like everybody, like regular people. Right. So it's usually in October, like mid October is when their deadline to apply is. Okay. Well, what's this for? So we just get money from the Arts Council. Yeah, the cultural the cultural council. Yeah, the cultural council. Okay, so we don't go through FinCom at all to appropriate funds for this this commission. Then, is that just not something we don't we just don't do, or we're not allowed to do, or is there just no path for that? Yeah, there just hasn't. Been like I don't know, maybe like if you know, things worked differently or that, that's how it was done before and like getting a line item in the town budget is like super super hard and yeah. um, in the future we'll be getting that percent for art thing right but it is very specific to the project okay I look forward to working on this <laughs> Yeah, and so I, we don't have specific. We don't have a specific cost for repairs. I'm not clear how much it's going to cost. Right, we don't know how much it's going to cost. And we we can't can get we, that information. Can I ask a question? Yeah, uh, two questions. Okay, what's the? Ex can you just give a narrative, tiny narrative description of the extent of the damage? Robert Frost has been torn down. He needs to be back into place. Okay. Oh. Oh, so then could we, as a group, agree that the cost of replacement is X and we set the price? Yeah, we can, uh, we can use that money that we've got in our... No, I'm saying we set the price and tell the person who's going to fix it what we will give them for fixing it. Right. Not just wait until somebody says, oh, how much money do you have to give me? Here's what I'm going to give you. You know what I mean? Like, mm -hmm. like say, okay, we have $300 to fix this. Can you fix it for that? Right. That's what I was thinking would probably wind up happening. Oh, okay. 
Okay. I now I understand. Yeah. But I, I don't know that we, I mean, to me, that seems a little bit, I don't want to exploit him in terms of saying, you know, we only have this X amount of money. I mean, I like, he, he must have some sense of the cost of his time and materials to fix this. Yeah, he definitely does. Can we, can we not oh, get okay. that number? And then if it's much more than we think we have the capacity to pay, then we would negotiate as opposed to us setting a limit. I mean, I personally have no idea how much it would cost for this. Well, I, we, I figured we could find out. Right. But I mean, we need to get that information from uh, him, it sounds like. Okay. Is that not correct? Well, it could be anybody who can fix things like that. Not just one person. Yeah. So it's... So do we have other people who might be able to do that? Or is, is he the only person with those skills? Uh, he's the only one that I know of, but um, do do we, does he yeah. know that it's broken and we want to fix it? Yes, he does know that it's broken. <clears throat> and because um, the DPW asked him to fix it and he said, essentially like, well, you know, when I, when I, like, I didn't sign like anything that's like every time it gets to face that, like I have to be responsible now. Like this is actually on the town <laughs> to pay for this. That makes sense. Yeah. So can we ask Kamal Peters to submit an invoice to us, to the town, and we will approve it, vote for it, say yes or no, and then move it along. Is that something we can do? Yes. Well, I think we would need a quote first as opposed okay. to an invoice because it's, I doubt he's going to do the work. I meant to quote. I'm so sorry, Robert. You're yeah, right. yeah. I didn't, so mean, I I didn't mean an invoice. Yeah. No, no, that's okay. So I think we need a quote for the cost first and then see where we are. Right. Just ask him for a quote and then go from there. Can we, do you guys, do you have his email? Can you do that, Shoshona? Do you want someone else to do that? Yeah, I can, I can talk to him. Cool. Yeah. Just see if he'll submit an estimate and we'll, we'll go from there. Okay. I'll get that. And then um, I can email it to you when I get it, like to everybody. Okay. And then on a similar note, I've been contacted by um, <clears throat> the person, or I think it's actually the mother of the person who did the um, mural that's over by the bank center. You know, the one that's like right across the little road, parking lot road. Yeah. On that building. I'm not sure where that is. It's, yeah. uh, it's like right downtown. And I guess it's like flaking. I haven't actually gone over to look at it because um, I've been away. Um, but they say it's it's flaking and it needs some restoration sometime soon. So I just wanted to like get that on your guys's radar that that a percolating issue. What where is that mirror? It's um like there's the main entrance of the um the bang center and like if you are walking out of that door it's like that building I don't even know what that building's called but there's like this big huge mural of like like a I don't know it's I don't even know what to call it it's like folksy kind of stuff this is next door to the bang center it's like across you know how there's that um parking like there's a driveway that connects the two parking lots yeah there it's um it's like right across that is this the where Rayo's, where, where the coffee place used around? to be Sorry. it's next coffee place used to be oh it's in that little car there what it's it's really close you'll see it if you go on, on that drive between the bang center and across the street from it yeah it's big. So uh, Shoshona, when was it put up? I don't know when it was put up originally. And does it, is there a contract with the person who put it up talking about how long it would be preserved or who would be responsible for that or anything? I don't know. It's been because if there's nothing, I, I mean, I, well, it's just good to know because yeah in the future they they have to have stuff like this that's you know in writing 
Yeah, and is it on a public building or a private building? That's a good question too. Yeah, yeah. I've got a bunch of files at my house that uh, I would love to have help going through. Um, <laughs> I bet there's a folder on this, so I should take a look. Well, do you know the name of the project? Um, Is this possibly the Amherst Community History Mural designed by David Fitcher? No, that oh, one's that's a big, big one next to oh, okay. the cemetery behind. Yeah. Okay, Santa and all those places. This is the one by the Youth Action Coalition. No, teens on the move. Nope, not that one. Okay. The name I have a name somewhere in my um, emails. I'll dig it out and okay. send it to you guys. But it's okay. like it's really like a top priority kind of thing right now because we've got many other things. But I just wanted to get it like on you guys' radar that okay that okay. this person is like contacting us and... do we have a person who does these kind of restorations no okay. and who was contacting us um like the artist's mother i think <laughs> <laughs> it was i don't know, i've got an email about it i'll i'll dig it out later if i can't find it right now all right and what else? Oh yeah, we've got that. Um, normally we have to spend, okay, this is about the the portal gallery. Normally we have to spend the money at the, by like December 31st, but for, because this one was forwarded from last year, they want us to actually spend the money by, they say the, um, by the end of late spring which would mean like June 21st. And so we, we should probably really kickstart the call for artists for that so that we can, you know, get the artists paid by the time we need those receipts in. So this is the $2,000 budget we have for this? Yep, yep. And that for the tiny little windows there? Yeah. Okay, and then we have to get this paid by the end of the fiscal year then. Okay. So we need to get the call to art done. Okay. Yeah. It sounds like that might need a um, separate like a meeting or something. Yeah. <clears throat> or like a, yeah. If, um, if somebody wanted to work on the call for artist, that would be good Was, to like, is there one from the past that we can use to um like a as a just a form so we can know what we're writing like the one for last year or the year before or so we can take a look at anywhere if there was one it would either be in that that basket or in the the files on the google group okay would that amherst cultural council have a copy of whatever that uh like information about it or do i not bother them i mean it wouldn't hurt to contact them they might have like resources like that i don't know if they're going to have anything like specific that we've used in the past for for um other projects but okay i'm gonna i'll look through this later maybe i get someone to help me out it's like you're being given the box that the queen is given. I know, right? <laughs> Who wants to come over and look through the box with me? Let's have a party. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and um, my plan is that to make um, next meeting my last meeting. Um, so I'm hoping that, like, you know, you guys decide how to do the the chair situation. Will you be in town or are you going to be still in California? Um, I'm probably going to be in town for that one. Okay. So that'll be better. At least. I feel so detached right now. Like, Well, you're in California. You're detached. <laughs> <laughs> I hope you're having a good time. I really do. I am. I'm having a really good time. That's really great. Thanks. Okay, so it sounds like we need someone to help work on a call for art for the portal gallery. And we also have the call for art for the <clears throat> MIP that we still need to work on. So um, 
maybe we can uh, decide on a date to get together and talk about these two things. The, uh, the, the other one is more important. We've got to get to that pretty, pretty quick. I'd like to ask if we can kind of hasten things along so we can get to that because that's kind of really immediate. Yeah. Okay. I agree. I think, I think that's everything on my notes from the chair. Okay. okay, so we can move along. Okay, so um, I was just trying to ask me if I could find the document. And as you guys know, I found what we had come up with before um, that uh, I lost the planner's name. What was her wonder? Maureen, that we worked on with Maureen. And then uh, she laughed, of course. So I used the minutes to hopefully reconstruct what we would have sent to her. Um, I sent it. You guys have seen a copy of it. And I got the response, and you've all looked at the response, probably. Um, so we're now at the point where uh, we need to uh, figure out who wants to work on this and uh, have a, a Zoom meeting with them so that we can get to the next step. So I am willing to take that on because I want to see this thing done. Uh, if anybody else wants to join me sometime between February 13th and 17th for a Zoom meeting, if anybody has any availability, let me know. Uh, if it can be an evening meeting. Um... I will ask. I That's me too. <laughs> what, yeah. what, what were the dates? So she she asked if we can have a 60 minute virtual meeting to talk through this call for art between February 13th and 17th. So I replied back to her and said, do you have more specific dates that work for you so we can narrow that down? Because that's kind of a large window. And this is with exactly whom? So I can put it in the minutes. So this is with Kim S-Z-E-T-O, who is the program director of public art for NEFA, uh, NEFA, NEFA, New England uh, Fine Arts? Oh, New England Foundation for the Arts. Thank you. Um, so she, they should, I'm gonna, maybe I'll summarize what she said in this email in case not everybody read it. Um, so the reply she gave to us says, we give, we need more time. So NEFA is looking over our call that I sent and they're gonna get stuff back to us by February 10th. So that's Friday. And then she wants to know if, a group of us can meet sometime between February 13th to 17th for a one hour meeting to talk about this call. Um, and then they would need from that from that conversation, we would have edits. And then by February 20th, we have to have a final draft ready for review to them. So there's kind of a, a 10, sorry, a 13 day window to get this done. Sorry, Dara, go ahead. That's OK. Um, so you this you're talking about editing the 15 page document. So they have it now. They're taking a look at it right now. 11 page document, I mean. Sorry. Yeah, the, so they're the MI, the making it public document, the call for art that we came up with with Maureen. Uh, I sent it to them. They're looking at it now and they're going to get it back to us by February 10th with edits. And so once we well, see they're going to edit it. Yeah, so from it. from their side, okay. yeah. So they're editing it cuz um okay. This is a little bit of an extension. So they're editing it now and they're going to give us comments and suggestions. We'll okay. get those back and then we'll have a one hour meeting with them and then hopefully figure out the rest of what we need. And then we'll work to that for the next hopeful final draft. Okay. Send to them by February 20th. And then we've got a calendar. Uh, there's an email I can share with you. I think you got it, but just in case um, there's a, there's a schedule of what happens next to make this call for artwork. Okay. So I'd be happy to work on it on the 13th or 15th. 13th or 15th, okay. Let me make a little note here. In the evening, like you all said. Okay, so. Because I have a lot of comments about the original one. Right. That I marked the 13th up. and 15th evenings. Okay, anybody else? Okay. Yeah, I'd, I'd be willing, um, again, you know, if it's an evening meeting. Which which day works better for you? Um, I'm sorry, I don't have a calendar in front of me. What, I'm what doing like a Google calendar right now. Live. What days of the week are those? Um, that's a great question. Monday. Oh, well, is today's the sixth, so thirteenth is a Monday. Um, I think um, I think any of those evenings. Well, actually, no, yeah, Monday, is, Tuesday, Wednesday, or um, Wednesday, right? actually Tuesday night would not be good or okay. Wednesday, but the others would be okay. So the 13th or the 16th? Yeah, yeah. Okay. I picked so, 13th. I'm sorry. 
I'm, I'm just saying I can do 13th, but I can't do the other one. Okay, anybody else? But you you could do the 13th and the 15th, Dara. Yeah, but Robert can't do the 15th. Right. I'm doing a doodle poll as we speak, like in person. <laughs> How many of us need to be there? Uh, she didn't say. She just said she wants to have a 60-minute meeting virtual. She used the word what your availability is. I'm I'm assuming she's talking about the the, the you as a group. But so I think as many of us as can meet. Do we have to have a quorum? Well, I don't that's, think that's a gym question. I don't think so. I don't think uh, so either because there's not going to be any voting going on. Yeah, this is yeah, just to, so. to kind of hone our call. And then we can all get together for those edits and do that as a quorum, as a group. And then cool. that document, we will be turning back in on the 20th. That Can you spell sense? her last name again? Kim uh, S S Z E T O. S Z E T O. T O. Okay. S Z E T O. T. T is in Terry. Yeah. S Z E T is in Terry O. Yep. Okay. Okay. So Dara and Robert can meet in the evenings. Uh, can anybody else? I yeah. could only meet on Wednesday the 15th and Thursday the 16th. Is that Lori speaking? Who's speaking? That was me, Lori. Okay, thanks, Lori. And that's evenings as well, right? Um, I mean, I could find an hour during the day. Okay, so I've got Dara 13th and 15th evening, Robert 13th and 16th evening, Lori 15th and 16th evening. All right. And yes. I think I can make one of those two. So it looks like, uh, yeah, okay. Well, I'll either have two or three helpers. <laughs> um, you're both Dara and Robert available on the 13th. Lori, can you, do you have any time on the 13th we can meet in the evening or is that just not? No. Good? Okay. I can't do that. All right. I have a question. So has anyone from the town replaced Maureen as point person for this, or is it now no. the entire responsibility on this commission for this project? I have, yeah, I know. I'm, I'm too. Because um, originally we were supposed to just be advisory for this project. We weren't supposed to be actually having to do all this stuff. And thank you a million times, Terry, for like really grabbing this by the horns. Um, but no, they have not. I have asked them several times and nobody has been named to us yet. Okay, so no one from the town. Um, no, um, can and I, I, Bill Kaizen, is he available to share what he's learned from the training? So none of the current composition of this commission had any exposure to that training either. And yet now we're responsible for basically managing this project. It, it doesn't same yeah. Uh, what was Bill Kaysen a part of in the trainings? Bill Kaysen did get the um, trainings at the beginning with Maureen. They went together into Boston and got like this like week long training or something like that about this project. Um, but he was not available today to um, do to be here for the meeting. He is willing to meet um, some other time. He could either meet in person at Cushman Cafe or he could um, meet on a Zoom, but his availability is like irregular because he's got a lot of uh, other stuff going on. So but it sounds it's, like we either need to is gonna figure be, out how to do a call of, of this magnitude or else we need to lose $10,000. Yeah, I mean, this That's is what it sounds like, you know, like not either, been well. Yeah, I, I the would, town, yeah, whoever I was would, responsible for this. Exactly. And I would like to say that if we, I'm concerned <laughs> about, is there a delay? Can you all hear me? There's a delay. Yeah. We can hear you. No. Okay. I'm concerned about us going forward with this on our own and then the town not having someone in place to manage this um, and to you know, be the representative of the, of the town. And if that person isn't hired within these deadlines that we're, we're really, this is too much for this committee who's taking it on last minute. My vote is not 
is to lose the money. But I know we're not there yet, but honestly, if the town can't commit a town staff person to this project by a certain date, then I would propose that we let it go. Okay. So, so yeah, I'll I, I, need, I need to ask Shoshana a question. Yeah. So if this committee were to agree as a group that we have to ask the town when they'll commit to replacing Maureen, who is the who is the exact person that this committee would talk to? Um, well, I've talked to both um, the town manager, Paul Bockelman and Angela about it. And um, I've gotten an email recently from Angela saying that they're close to figuring something out and that they're talking to uh, a few different people. To Do see. they know that there's any possibility that the commission would decide it's possible to say we can't do it do they uh, know that they don't know that idea but i could definitely um talk to them about that because that's definitely fair on us you know to because it's like it's a lot to expect volunteers to be um tackling this without guidance can i propose something sure yeah. Is there a way to collaborate with another organization in town, like the Amherst Cultural Council? They have experience in these things. Like, does this have to be all the Public Art Commission, or can we collaborate with with other organizations that do the same thing in town? Like, why we're so siloed? I don't understand why we're so siloed. I, I want to. I want that to stop. <laughs> well, I think, <laughs> I think as part of the strategic planning process, that, that was one of the things I was going to recommend. One. We have. The downtown Amherst Foundation, we have the business improvement district, we have the cultural, uh, what is it called? The cultural, cultural council, yeah. Cultural council. And, you know, when we were first talking about the Make It Public project, and someone, maybe it was me, uh, suggested murals. And I think, Shoshana, you mentioned that Gabrielle Gould of the business improvement district said that they're doing a mural or something. And I, you know, it's, I agree absolutely, Terry. I don't understand why there's, why there are all these organizations who seem like they should be really well integrated. There doesn't so, seem to be any communication or that's collaboration. That's a fantastic so. point. I yeah. feel like there's a movement in local um, small towns, not even small towns, that um, they are uh, moving many of these organizations under one umbrella. And therefore, they, when they appropriate money from the town, they're able to come up with much better community engagement projects and get um, more uh, more activity from them from the audience, and I, I that's number one on my list for things that I want us to work on is to ask our town manager if there is any way we can strategize, you know, combining our organizations so that we 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 can make more effect on our town. Yeah, yeah that's a fantastic idea. So I think that's going to have to come from us, frankly. I mean, based on. I the resources yeah. that they devoted to this make it public project and, and the priority or lack thereof that they gave it, I, I, I don't think this is necessarily high on the town's priorities. But probably not, yeah. Well, you know, know, in my um, reading of the document of the temporary art project open call for December that we got in email, on page four, the nine, number nine art jury lists all these people y'all are talking about being on the jury or associated with the jury for making the selection for that $10,000 project. And it, it, it has two people from this commission on it and everything else. And there's a, I don't know, I didn't count them, but it's like nine other people entities would have their say in it too. So it makes the commission fairly innocuously represented anyway. If you do it like that, this there's like a list that's pretty long. Well, that'd be for the jurying part, which is- Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, but that's all the people you're talking about trying to collect into a group that would be responsible for stuff like this. You know, it's a lot of people. Which is great, but it's like, I, that's hurting a lot of cats. 
<laughs> well, the fact is, we just, I don't think we have the infrastructure to create, to make this thing happen. I was willing to do the part where I got the call out the door, but the rest of it would need a lot of handholding from the town. And if we don't have town support, I'm not sure how we can do that. Well, you have to hope that we could get town support by then, but if we can't, then what do we do, you know? Yeah, I can't, you know, personally carry a goal like this through and the rest of us can't, you know, we're all volunteers. We need DPW, we need a planner, they have salaries, they get paid, you know, we don't. So, you know, that's very much part of it. My my time is valuable and so is yours. So, Laura, you bring up a really good point. And I think maybe we need to talk about, like, maybe we need to talk to Kim Setso and say, this thing happened in our town, you know, do you have any any ideas what we can do or we hate to say no to this money it's really great that we got it and we're excited but we can't follow through and i well i think i think we should talk to the town first before we go to nifa with that um conclusion yeah. i i think um i think shoshana talking to the people you've spoken with and i don't know if anyone in the planning department, I, I forget the name of the head of the planning department, but, um, you know, find out what they're willing to do. And if, if, if the response is not uh, anything with a certain sense of urgency, given the timeline that NIF has presented to us, then, um, then I think we'd have to go back to them and say, you know, we just don't have the capacity. Uh, most of, I mean, Derry, you and Shoshona were on the committee previously, right? But the rest of us are new and we just, you know, found out about this project. I think at many of our first meetings here and, you know, the, it just, there hasn't been good communication. And, and uh, so I- We haven't had much communication from the very beginning. Yeah, yeah. It, it was in the process before I, I haven't been on the commission for more than not even a year. Okay. So, yeah. um, and it, it's always been really, really hard to get the kind of background information that you need to have a real thought about something. So that hey, can so change. Shona, do you want to reach out to the powers that be? I don't know anybody, but I don't, I, I'm bold. Yeah, I, <laughs> doesn't matter if you know them about, or not. I'm thinking about like um, we should come up with a deadline for an, um, someone to be appointed to us as far as this project goes and say like we're going to have to turn down the uh, making it public if we don't have somebody by, you know, like X time. Right. So I have to come up with a, that date. Do you guys want to make it February 20th I, or the 13th or I would I mean, I. I would suggest that we need someone from the town on board before we submit a final draft. And before that, February 20th, okay. Yes, because I think that we need at least to have a town, um, so a staff, staff person from the town to also read over the final draft and approve it because a lot that's in there involves the town and the yeah. town planner. So why don't we say February 13th is, is the day like with the time we give the town we need to know by february 13th if we're going to have somebody to help us shepherd this project through if the answer is you know we're not going to have somebody by february 13th then um i think maybe we need to, to drop it well uh, let me ask you this though too um the foundation that approved the grant and is financing the grant they're working on this right now yeah and they think that we're going through with this. Well, I told them what's happening in our town and they, you know, they're, they're trying to give us an extension. Uh huh. So. No, but I mean, if we cut off the grant, we have to t tell them that. Well, yeah, of course, of course. Yeah. I mean, as soon as you know, there's some possibility of it, they need to know because they're putting in their time and work on something that they don't know is um, in jeopardy. Yeah, I think we won't have to tell them until um, we make that final, like, pull the trigger with the town on that. Okay, so Shoshona, why don't you reach out to this town as soon as you can? Yeah. I'll, and just tell, tell them that their deadline is, is February 13th, okay, everybody, you think? 
Do you I have them. So that's a week from today. I don't know yep. if you want to give a week them from today to tell us whether or not we're going to have representation or that's not the word. A liaison, I guess. Okay. Well, to to appoint a town staff person. Right. Yeah. To if to, until February 13th to appoint a town staff person. To help to, shepherd this project. To rep to represent the town for this project. Right. Well, that to, person has to, to be work the project with us manager. and represent the town in this project. Yeah, as Robert said, that person would have to be the project manager. You know, absolutely. And yep. if they can't do that, if they can't sign up for that responsibility, then we're going to have. I will. We'll contact NEFA and say we're. You know, we're so sorry. We, this happened. You know, it's not our fault. These things happen. Yeah. Well, I would rather not spin my wheels and spend a whole lot of time working on this call until we know for sure that we're going to have some help so yeah so i guess we kind of maybe we just sit on this and do you think that's appropriate before we schedule getting together on the 13th or 15th or whatever i think that we're still gonna this is a really it's kind of a big deal you know to decide that you're going to not take ten thousand dollars that your commission applied for, worked toward, did all the stuff that they did. And yeah, you're right that we don't know enough to know how to go forward. I don't think we do. Yep. But if we don't go forward and we made the decision not to, it's a kind of big deal that we said, okay, we not going we don't need, we don't want this. You know why did I, I mean whose decision, who ultimately applied for this in the first place? I'm assuming it was the town planning department, right? Yeah, I believe it was Maureen because right. she's, so you know, the person in charge of but it. But I thought she said that they told her to apply for it. They wanted her to apply for it. I remember her saying, because I remember asking, how did this whole thing start? And she said, I was asked to show up and do this thing. And I think it was maybe from the town manager. Uh -huh. Well, wherever the motivation came from, I mean, someone has to bear responsibility for it. And the fact that the two people who were directly involved initially and in the trainings are no longer involved and the people who are left to try to make sense of it have not had training and have been associated with the commission for a couple of months. I, I, I just think it's a lot to ask of a group of volunteers. Uh, I think all of us have full-time jobs. You know, it, it's just, it's not a well-conceived uh, process or project at this point. So I think, you know, Shoshona, when you, obviously you'll communicate all that to uh, the people in the town and then they're gonna have to decide how to proceed. But I think it's important to make it clear that at least, and. This is my feeling, and and you know, I'm curious to hear everyone else's view. But I, I just don't think we have the capacity at the moment without someone in the town playing the project manager role. So, if this needs to take the take place like in a proposal kind of a thing, like a you know Robert's rules of order kind of thing, do we need to, you know, I somebody make a proposal and we second it and vote on it, or is that what is the apparatus for asking Shoshona to go forward with asking the town to do this thing? Ideally, I think you would have the group of us who are meeting now have a written paragraph that summarizes the stance you're taking by asking them to do what you do and a written thing from this committee, a, par a short thing, you know? Okay. Well, we've kind of, we've all, we've kind of had some verbiage as we're talking. Um, yeah, and I think then you, that we, we would have the other members who aren't here also look at it or like be aware of it. Sounds like we can, it sounds like we can't do that because of quorum and timing. I think we have quorum now and I think we would have to make this proposal and make this decision now. Well, we can make the decision. Yeah, but but we need to they need to know about it. They need to be informed about it. Of course. You, yes, yeah. you can in the well, meeting. Last time we're not. This stuff to happen yeah. while we're all yeah. meeting. And but a written paragraph would make a whole lot more sense as an agreement among a group of 
five people. Then I just saying to Shoshona, look, hey, take some notes. Remember this. This is what we want represented. It's kind of an unfair burden to ask somebody to not have words that everybody agreed were words that represented a point of view of a group of people. That's that's my feeling about stuff like this. All right. So do we want to make a would we want to make a document right now to do that? It sounds like that is what we should be doing. Well, okay. I, I think Robert, you stated it very succinctly. So if we you know laid out the background of the project, the current, I think we can do this. Should we just go ahead and write something up in four or five sentences? Yeah, let's wordcraft it. Robert, um, what you said? <laughs> wait, 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 should I should I share my screen and write this? And oh, you help? sure, do it. Yeah, absolutely. All right. um, okay. I don't remember exactly. It was something to the effect of the fact that the. Um, okay. Wait. 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 <laughs> Mm -hmm. um, the host disabled screen sharing. Oh, oh man. Uh -oh. you have I... to make her a host. Go to participants and go to Lori's name and make her a host. Uh, make host. I think that's. Ah, we're back. <laughs> oh, you made me the host. I see. So oh, let me want to share my screen. All right. You can just play the recording back to get the exact language. Hey, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. Okay. So um well, I think something to the effect that given the uh the town planner and was Bill the chair of the commission at the time? Yes. 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 Okay, so the, the town planner and the former chair of the Public Art Commission were the, the two primary contacts related to the Make It Public project, yeah. wait, both, wait. Of whom, both of whom received the NEFA training and subsequently both have, uh, both are no longer um, connected with the project and i i think we should also put in there something about how originally um we were supposed to be like a advisory on this hmm. and really doing the nuts and bolts yeah we'll work craft that that sounds good and now we're finding you know having to be the nuts and bolts yeah, we need the town to assign uh, or to dedicate a staff person to be the project manager. Yeah, and we're up against this deadline. And if we don't have somebody appointed by this deadline, uh, we will have to forfeit this particular project, this grant. $10,000 grant. Yeah. Put, try to put specifics. Okay. I'm not doing a very good job of this, but I'm doing my best. Copy and paste. You're doing great. All yeah, right. So great. given, okay. So we are, um, so this is, let's do this. RE, making yeah. it public project. Good. Um, all right. Sorry. Give a, little, a little summary of like the summary of the project. Right. You're not feeling nervous, are you? We're all watching you type. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> nice typing. Well done. Okay. <laughs> Okay, so I understand that the MIP project was initiated by the town of Amherst um, with, in conjunction, 
collaborating with maybe collaborating with the chair of the Amherst Public Arts Commission. Maybe you say the by the planning board, planning office, planners. I don't know. Was initiated by the town of Amherst. Planner? What? I don't even know. Planning, planning department, planning. I don't well, know. Well, I'm going to put their names in in a minute. Okay. So by the town of Amherst in collaborating, collaboration. Collaboration. With the chair of the Amherst Public Arts Commission to apply to the, what is it? Foundation. It's uh, NEFA. NEFA. Any, any NEFA. NEFA. New England Foundation for the Arts. To the New England Foundation for the Arts for a uh, I'm for sitting on someone's couch and I don't have my mouse, so this is for a little hard. Yeah, te for ten thousand dollar grant art, for a temporary public art project to be installed in either Kendrick Park or uh, Sweetser Park. And I, is, that's enough of a summary. Is that okay, Shoshana? Yeah. Okay. okay. The um. Although um, yeah, you are gonna punch in the names, right? Because like, yeah. they to, that's not me. Oh. The public board. There. Yeah, I want to put in um. Bill Kaysen and, and we say the former former chair. Yeah, former chair. Yeah. There's an I in his name after the A. It makes it so it looks like it's Kaizen, but it's actually Kaysen, how he pronounces it. Maureen. Maureen, Maureen, I forgot her name. Uh, Pollock, I think her name is. Pollock, like fish. O C K. Yeah. I think and so. And is she the town project manager or a? She's a um, town planner. A. How many do we have? Not enough, apparently. <laughs> <laughs> so there's a a yeah. Do you see the they in front of town? What? Oh, that there, that where? Yes, in front, right there. Yeah, right in front of town. Yeah, yeah. make it an A. Make oh and. A town ah instead of the yeah thank you uh ah. there you go I just say just both are no longer involved at all well it's I think it's important I think it's important or, or maybe you will subsequent to that uh, to mention that those are the two people who received the training from NIFA right and um yeah these two are, people yeah both now are gone nefo offered yeah um Is it right to say as part of a, as one of the requirements for the um, grants being approved for the grants approval? Wait, what is required? I don't. That's what I'm that's asking. True? I'm, not I'm sure. asking if it is. Wait, what's Shoshana? what's the question? I I didn't the, understand. The, the question is. Can we say that their training was required for the approval of the grant? Um, and you mean like because we haven't got the training ourselves, then I'm it, not gonna say that. I'm saying that Bill and Maureen had to go to that for us to get the grant. I don't know. Yeah, because that would be a that I know would be it, but I don't know if it's required or if it was just incurred. Would, would Bill know that? He possibly would know, yeah. Uh-huh. 
because sometimes things like that are contingent upon right it's conditional on yeah yeah, yeah. and i would want to know that if we could right How did we find that out? I can ask Bill. And then the uh, NEFA people would know. Because they're the ones who would have made the rule. Yeah. We could probably look on their website, actually. Uh, you might could do that, yeah. I, I just volunteered you, Terry, but it doesn't have to be. <laughs> That's okay. I'm just going to ask Terry to research whether I'm looking right it now. was required to have two Let's see. attendees um, Uh, you, you don't want to say former? I was going to say the chair at that time. Okay. It sounds like we got the grant and then because we got the grant, we got the training. I don't know. Well, I'm reading, I'm reading it. I'm sorry. Oh, okay. Um, at the conclusion of the workshop series, each participating municipality will have the opportunity to put their new skills to work by conducting a call for temporary public art. So, so the workshop I, is part of the. It's, it is part of it. It is a. It yeah. is two parts. It is. It is supposed to be teaching municipalities and also creating this call for art to help so they can practice it. So we, our people, got the training and then left. And then we're stuck with it. We don't know what the hell we're doing. <laughs> so, okay, this is good to know. Okay. So um, yeah, this is called a uh, it's, it's called a dual track professional development series. Okay. Uh huh. And so we're operating is, on one track at the moment. We're operating on one track. Yeah. Or are we trackless completely? Oh, we're trackless. <laughs> I like that. Yeah. <laughs> we are a train bound for nowhere. <laughs> So I, I wasn't quite listening, but so they both attended the training and. Um, you might want to say required training or integral say, training somehow. Was it required? I use this sentence, point. Lori, the making it public project is a dual track professional development series designed for this purpose to give the training and then to have a call for art as, as a practice kind of. Uh, so, that's good to include that. That was good. Yeah, yeah, it's right in here. I would send it oh, to you. Oh, I wish I could cut and paste it. <laughs> yeah, right. Uh, yeah. Um, hold, on. hold on. We have, we have, we have chat. Can we do chat? Chat is available. Chat, chat. is available. I think. Ooh. See the chat? There it is. Yeah. We have chat. That's a sentence that's straight from the website. Wait, where I can't find my chat. The bottom of the window, there should be a chat button. You should be able to. I've got chat. Oh, yeah. Hey, okay. Mm -hmm. Yay. And that's the link it came from. Oh, I just got to move it somewhere. Can you see the chat, my chat, or box or not? Um, 
Yeah, yeah, it's at the bottom of your window. I see it. It's right next to participants. Do you see okay. it? Okay. No, I see it. I just didn't know if you could. Okay. Oh yeah, we can see it. Oh, what's that? That it didn't seem to. Oh, you know what? I tried to cut and paste it. It didn't work. I don't know if I can cut and paste from the chat, but mm -hmm. you know what? I can go to the link. Okay. Maybe. Yeah, there it is. It's in the first paragraph, second paragraph, first paragraph. Convenient of them to put it right in the first paragraph. Right, helpful. Where is it? In the first paragraph. Making it public right. in MA is a dual track professional development, blah, blah, blah. Yeah. Sorry, now our, our pictures are in front of it. I can't see it. I, I wish I were at home. I have two screens and it's all so nice. I know. Says, okay. Yeah. Um, okay, let's see. So in partnership. Yeah. Okay, making it public. Okay. Hmm. All right. And the first time you mentioned uh, the New England Foundation, write out the whole thing and then afterwards you can do the initials. Okay, that oh down here. Yeah, just the first time. Is it for the arts? I'm not looking at the. Oh, okay. I just was wondering. Here it is. Foundation for uh, the arts. Okay. For the New arts. England Foundation. Okay, so I understand. Yeah. I think you should say our current commissioners are new to the project and have received no training. Okay. Yep. The NIFA. And, and found out about the project. Wait, wait. Bill and Maureen attended meeting. the NIFA training for on public art. Do you, you uh, can just say training period. Do you want it? It's okay. 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 And yes, what were you saying, Robert? Uh, I think it's important to note that the current commissioners have not received any training and only learned of the project at our first meeting, which was when, December or October. November? October. October? Yeah. Okay. No, wait, and I'm sorry. I think it was November. Yeah. I think it was November, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I would say um, it didn't receive the extensive training because it really was. But it was like a multi-day thing that they went to. It was like well, a big... I don't think you need to add that because if you said the extensive training, it could be understood to mean that we got trained, but it wasn't extensive. So yeah. I think it's better to just say that the, the training associated with the grant. <clears throat> How many members are we? Seven altogether. Yeah, we're seven all together. Five of us here now. Is that correct? Well, except that none of us knew any of this, except Bill. 
to my knowledge. Oh, so only Bill was. Um... So well, even the current members of the commission weren't made aware of this project? I heard about it when it was announced, but we didn't know anything about the grant and didn't see the grant and didn't know anything about how it was going to be um, made, you know, made real. Mm. Yeah. So it's not as though I don't, I don't want, I don't particularly want to be included in the people who were part of it, who should have known something because I didn't. Right. Right. Yeah. Okay. So where four of the seven members were new to the commission at the meeting and the other three had not been involved in the, um, Perhaps informed would be better than involved. Infor informed is better. Yeah. I mean, the, the workshop is supposed to teach skills, teach municipalities the skills to put forward more equitable calls for art. <laughs> it's a great idea it's just that we don't we don't have the tools i don't mean if there were a folder that they had passed down to us even some kind of information. So what was it um we were told by maureen um at that meeting that the deadline to submit the proposal it didn't was, wasn't oh, the, the original deadline, oh no actually it was the deadline to um the call for art is supposed to go art. out at the end of the year, right? Yeah, but before yeah. they submit the call for artists was by December 31, 2022. Yeah, we're going to have to make sure that like our our ask isn't buried in all this stuff. Right. We, might be, we might be going a little far. I don't know if we need this much text. Yeah, I, I think um i think maybe trimming it might be a good idea yeah or should we get it get this done and then go back and trim it yeah okay so um i don't uh, think you need to say we were told by maureen at the meeting that the deadline to submit the call for art that's that's when you go into too much detail yeah okay that out. yeah that's okay Okay. Yeah, I think at this point we could just say that the, the town needs to designate a project manager by X date or. Well, I think they we, don't know where we're at, right? I mean, we we now have these deadlines and we've finished the proposal. We're, we're, I mean, it never got submitted, right? As far as I know, because they sure didn't have it. So, no, they didn't. Yeah. So yeah. Yeah. So, so Robert, why don't you say what you're saying about the very end conclusion? Um, I was just saying that uh, I think we want language to the effect that the town needs to designate a staff person to be the project manager by <laughs> whatever date we have decided, or we don't feel yeah, like we have the capacity we don't have the capacity to undertake the project and the and the town needs to inform the new england foundation for the arts that they're not able at this time to complete the project okay so the town of amherst needs to designate a town staff project manager or person to be the project manager uh, either way okay What was the date? We were going with the 13th, right? Uh, yes. That is really soon. Next week. I don't know. Well, they, we've been asking for February somebody through. for a while now. Yeah. Like a month. No, do November. Oh. <laughs> February. <laughs> when did Maureen? Uh, I'm back in November. I'm back in when November. Did we, when did we hear about? Maureen moving on so that's kind of the date we should work from like I don't know what date that was it was our January meeting though right 
Um, I last knew, meeting. Yeah. Last meeting, yeah. The January meeting, um, but I knew about it before that, and I had actually gone in to town hall to talk to people about that, right. like right after the new year. I think it was like you know, like that first week in January. Right. Okay. Okay. So what did asking. someone from the Shoshana, just out of curiosity, did someone from the town inform you of it, or did you hear about it? I heard about it when I saw it on the in the bulletin that she had resigned. And then I was like, what? And so then I went yeah. into the yeah. and asked them about it. And they were like, yeah, yeah, we were going to get somebody. And then I emailed weeks later. And that got no response. And then I emailed them again, like last week or something. And maybe the week before, the time is kind of slightly. So at the, in the last sentence, do you want to maybe consider saying the town of Amherst will need to designate? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, but the last email I sent, um, I did get a response saying that like they're working on it and they're trying to figure out um, like the best procedure for for the appointment and who that's going to be. And so this deadline, I think, will be good. It will make it so that, you know, um, it'll sit along and not get forgotten. And like maybe if 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 we if we if the commission doesn't have an assurance that this will happen, the town will need to inform NIFA that it's rescinding the grants. You know, like word it to something like that. I, I mean, I, it's. The town ought to feel like it's their doing by not per taking care of the project manager thing that they're losing the money. Otherwise, it's the commission who's losing, choosing to lose the money. And it, that seems to make a difference. It cannot, what, what language should I use? If the town cannot provide a project manager, then the town needs to inform NIFA that we. Uh, uh, the, um, let me see what the wording is. Or how about without a project manager, the art commission does not feel comfortable moving ahead with this project? Or is not able, not, is not able to. That doesn't feel comfortable. <laughs> yeah, I, I would. Yeah, I, that sentence that you have: the town of Amherst will need to designate a town staff project manager for manager for this project by February thirteenth. Um, for the, for public, the public arts. arts yeah, I don't know. I don't think we want to say for the arts commission to proceed. I think it's more. Um, right. In order for the project to proceed, the town right. of Amherst will need to designate a town staff project manager by February 13th. Yeah. The That's Public good. Art Commission does not have the capacity to, um, sure. to take sole responsibility for seeing this project through given lack of training and the transition. Um, I wouldn't say that. Something to that effect. No, I don't think I'd say you you have you lack anything. <laughs> well, yeah. I mean, we do lack the training. We, we none of us have oh, been involved yeah. in the information that. that was. When you said that in the beginning, okay, okay, that's that's fair to just let it be an objective statement instead okay. of. You know, okay, well, what was the statement? I'm sorry, I'm I've lost track. In order for the project to proceed, the town of Amherst will need to designate a town staff project manager for this position by February 13th period. And I don't know why it's a t little T there. Oh, that's automatic. It's fine. Yeah. Annoying. I oh, know, I hate it. Uh, I think I had said that the Public Art Commission does not have the capacity to- Slow, 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 slow. <laughs> Sorry, the Public Art Commission does not have the capacity 
to um Shepherd. Shepherd's or, good. Yeah. This project through to its completion. I don't know that I'd say that, but okay, if everybody else wants to. You can rephrase well, it any what's way your you want. Just, no, yeah, Dara, we yeah, love yeah. your input. Yep. I would just leave it. I would just leave it as like an obvious thing. We don't have to say we don't have the capacity. We're saying it by saying those other people are gone. And yeah, but I, I, I think, sorry, go ahead. Because no, I don't, okay. like, I feel like if we say too much that we don't have the capacity, they'll just start leaving us out of projects entirely. You know what I mean? Okay. Like, well, I, I disagree with that. I mean, th this this has been really poorly managed by, the town by any objective evaluation of this process. And so I, I think we do need a statement saying that, because if we just leave it that they need to designate a project manager, I mean, I, I, I think we do need to make it clear that we haven't been given the tools to implement this project. Yeah, I agree. And that it's it's not it's not fair to ask that we do this without having had any of the the background. Yeah, especially since we were we were told this wouldn't be, you know, we took you know we were told that we were gonna have our contact person and the guidance and they were gonna be shouldering this burden and we were going to be advisory. I mean, so I can tell you during my initial interview with the town manager, you know, before being approved to join the commission, it wasn't presented to me that you're joining this commission. And by the way, there's this grant that you're going to have to administer right away without any training. I mean, there, there was a decided lack of transparency, if that was the intention. And I'm not saying it was, obviously, because Maria right. was on staff at that time. But, you know, th this is... This is a fairly significant thing, and um, I just I just don't think. Um, yeah. I don't think without some project management from a full time staff person, we, we can make it happen. Okay. Or make it happen such that people will feel good about the result. You know. Yeah. I don't think we want what to do you this. Say, in the, um, I think. I think the sentence that says the, the Public Art Commission cannot move forward on this without a town staff project manager in place is real specific and good. Mm -hmm. I, I'm sorry, I think it needs the extra two. I agree with Robert. I think we need to specify that we don't have, we don't have the training for this. But we never said we did or would or could. It was the two people who applied for the grant who said they would and could. And so it's like, it, it may, I don't <laughs> want it to sound like we're all incapable of <laughs> kinds of things, you know? This is the dual track, like uh, I said before, this is the definition of this grant, was it has two parts and we don't, we didn't get to the first part of it. We don't, you know what I mean? Like we're supposed yeah, to do the, the second people, part. Well, of no, it. no one else did either. No, no, none of the town people did either because Marine's gone. Right. Lori, sorry, can we see the whole thing? It's uh, yes. I, I'm um, only seeing the bottom part. I think it's real close to being fine, you know. Um, yeah, uh, I if yep. we could just see the whole thing and, and yeah. then, let's see, I could make it big and then I won't see you and hopefully this will work. You're not missing anything by that. <laughs> <laughs> okay. And thank you. And yeah, call it the whole by the call the project by its whole name the first time too. They don't because MIP project in the title. You know, yeah, the title is going to be making it public. So this is where we're starting. I mean, this we don't necessarily need. This making it public is a dual. Maybe I should just, you know what? Why don't I move just do it. this? The footnote at the Wait. bottom. Move, yeah, move it. And have like, you know, <laughs> their website, this is what it is. 
because because Shoshona, who you're going to talk to, won't necessarily have this background information at all. I yeah, have, um, I have um, an alternate first paragraph the, uh, on it, Lori. To the manager, what? I have an alternate first paragraph in the chat if you want to use it. It's close. I'm just trying to make it. Yeah, I'll be sending it to um, to Angela first and so her she'll look at it and sh her interest in it will be that what our ask is and then she'll probably bump it up to town manager and the town manager will bump it down to the planning board probably and then that's when all of this other stuff will get looked at probably about the project in specific i think terry's uh first new paragraph in the chat's really good yeah, um, I was I was going to say I, I agree because it it puts the it puts the ask right out there. Yeah, it's really um, good. Yeah. Uh, where, oh, let's see. I can't see the chat. There it is. Yeah. I can email it to Lori if it's easier. It's fine. <laughs> well, I don't. I'm going to select all, and then I'm going to copy but I think it might not let me paste. Okay, I'm just going to send it to you. But let me see now. I don't know why you can't copy and paste from a... I can. I don't know if there's something wrong with your computer. Sending it to Could you be. right now. There you go. You're sending it to my email? Yes, ma'am. So let's run through some scenarios. Uh, they find a planner. Amazing things happen. They say, yes, here we go. Here's your person. Here you go. Um, do we then, we then move forward. So let, we get, we need two scenarios. One is we'll come up with, we'll figure out what, what's going to happen if we're going to wash our hands of this. But if they find somebody, we still need to plan to meet these people. Yeah. Um, with a with yes. Zoom call. So um, let's just, I'm an optimist. Let's just say we uh, they find somebody. Um, can I still have two or three of you join me in a call? Is that still okay? Sure. Yep. All right. Um, so I have two dates that work. Well, okay, 13th, 15th. Okay, Dara and Robert can get together the 13th. Lori can get together the 15th or the 16th. The 16th is better for me. Um, what day I, of the I, week is I that? Try sorry. to be. Oh, there's. There's calendars for this one second. Why is this not letting me copy? It might actually be good for um, getting this meeting set up too. And then we can put into this letter. Um, yeah, the 16th, I'm, I'm more available the 16th if anybody. Is that a Thursday? I can, I can do the 16th. Yeah, 16th is a Thursday. Is, is Would that work or? I can do that. Yeah. If it's in the evening, I can do, do either okay, so Monday, I'm gonna, I'm gonna Monday evening or Thursday evening. Or so Thursday. I'm going to wait to contact. Oof, here's a question. Do I tell them what's going on or do I wait? I think I wait can't to paint it. cut and paste. So I'm having a hard time here. Are you, do you, oh, have a you, know, what? PC? you know what? My computer just froze. That's oh, why I can't do awesome. anything. Uh -huh. no. I okay. think. So we should put into this letter that um, we expect the appointee to make it to this um, call with Kim so that they also get on the stuff. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So, so this is all predicated on the idea that they have somebody who they're just going to move into this role. They're not advertising a job. Correct. This is going to be somebody who already works there. It's going to be their job. It's okay. not going to be a, a job that it's hired for. Okay. Like they, I've heard the name Nate being kicked around for being a possible appointee, but um, he hasn't been appointed. So that's just speculation at this point. Oh God, now I need to find my password. <laughs> oh, it's really painful to have to watch you do this. 
<laughs> it's really painful. I'm sorry. Know, it's, it's, it's feeling a little painful. <laughs> I, I couldn't cut and paste it for some reason in Chrome. It's not letting me do that. So I don't know what's going on. So I'm opening it up in another browser to see if I can make that work. But now I have to find my password. I actually saw an installation like this at Mass Mocha. It was a Zoom meeting and someone was trying to type in real time. And it just was a continuous loop in one of their galleries. That, uh, and it was miserable, right? It was horrible. It was just... <laughs> <laughs> cringe inducing um oh god oh okay let's try again oh god now how to even get in here let's see i i just want to log in i just want my email <laughs> um I'm about to give up, guys. Okay. Uh, let's see. Um, okay, why don't you uh, hand over to me? Can you do that? <laughs> can I cut and paste this and hand this type this part over to you? I could cut and paste and email you what we have so yeah, far. Sure. Ooh, that great. would be great. There you go. I think I'm going to do that if I can get into my... So it's interesting what happened... There it is. When I went to Chrome, and I'm on my work computer, so I don't know, maybe that's the problem. It shouldn't be. That, that sounds like a really great art installation. Okay. <laughs> sounds like torture to me. <laughs> I mean, it sounds... Like it would really elicit a response, you know? It was very visceral. <laughs> so there. Okay, now it's letting me copy. There you go. Let's see what happens when I go back to this document. Oh. <gasps> you got it? Success. Yeah, this is when I get, I was like, I want to throw this computer across the room, but okay, it did it. Okay. All right. Yay. It is our end. So where do we want this? The APAC is. That would be the first paragraph. Wait, I mean, like. No, for it is our understanding. Yeah. And then we can edit the rest, you know, to. So move the A package request. Yeah, the whole should go first. Yes. And then yes. our understanding will be the second paragraph. And then okay. And now. Um, so, so you want to take this out, right? Yeah. Sure. And we don't need this either, right? Um, you, you Seems like on. we could go right to the chair at that time, couldn't we? Yeah. 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 Uh, fourth line down. The chair at that time was built. Yeah. Yep. Take that out. Okay. We have scheduled a meeting with NEFA for where, where are we? 216. Uh, uh, no, sorry. No, you're, everything is fine as it is. The part you have indented over, just bring that over. And then all that looks good. So go back up to the second paragraph and you can say our current commissioners or our our current APAC commissioners and that make that a new paragraph. Our current go make that a new paragraph. Yeah, okay. Our current commissioners, uh, a, our current APAC commissioners, haven't received training 
and only learned of this project at their November 2022 meeting. I have not received training. Yeah, don't say any, yeah. yeah. And, and, and learned of this project. You don't need only. At Actually, I think only was good there. Okay, put it back, put yeah. it back. And only learned of this project their November meeting. I think we need to like highlight that. <laughs> November 2023, a uh, 22 meeting. Okay. Well, maybe we should just leave out where four of them. Just take this off. Yeah, I would. Because anytime you sound like you're putting blame on something, it's going to hurt your case. That looks good. And I we have scheduled a meeting with NEFA um, to, sorry, you, you already have it down below. Um, you have it as the last sentence. Mm -hmm. so that, yeah, that should go after the in order paragraph. That in order, you, you were good. Take out, we have scheduled. <laughs> yeah. And then just, yeah. And then just put in, uh, I'm gonna, I guess, send an email back to her and say the 16th will work for us. Six o'clock. Six o'clock, okay? Uh, yeah. Okay. Right now I'm writing that down in my date book so I don't forget. Yes, and I will send that email and copy you all. Okay, so we have scheduled a meeting with NIFA on February 16th to discuss. <laughs> discuss this call for art. Um, oh, well, to discuss this doesn't refer to anything that else talked about in the notes, so j just don't say this. Don't say what? Uh, don't say this call because it's not referred to in the piece. So just say to dis to further discuss this grant. Okay. Or project vague. There, that's fine. Yeah. Okay. And and maybe something um, like, and, um, you know, we expect and, re and receive an extension of the deadline because that's what we're going for. Well, I don't, they don't need to know that either. All they need to know is that they have to appoint somebody to be a manager. Okay. So it seems like that would be okay. Just. Yeah. Is there, wait, and um, about somebody actually attending that we need someone from the town hall to also be attending like our the new project manager needs to be at that meeting <clears throat> like we have a scheduled meeting with nefa that you know we need the project manager to also attend period yeah just to attend do we give them a or else <laughs> no like if if the town of amherst could not you know help us with this commitment we need to say no to this grant and it's going to look bad <laughs> well i guess it says at the very beginning your new that new paragraph at the beginning says is about, requesting the appointment right about like right after the last sentence there have like in order to move forward with this grant here you go that's that's good. We've already got that in the prior paragraph in order. It says the public arts commission be. cannot move forward on this project without a town staff project manager in place. And we need them to attend. Great. Yeah, if the town. We may not need that. We kind of have that in that. Yeah, well, in the in the in the prior paragraph, the in order paragraph, paragraph there, it says I think the public, the public arts clear. commission cannot move forward without a town staff project. You can make place. it positive at the end and say, you know, we look forward to. There you go. Yeah, I feel like something in there about the that last sentence though, and making it really like you know, because that's our opportunity to put it on the town is in like you know, if you wish to get this money that that is what needs to happen, you know, and it's not, cause like up above it's about how we need them to have it, but in order for them to access this grant, they, you know, it needs to be like, that's where it shifts into, it's their choice to push away this money if they don't well, get that meeting. 
that's why I was saying earlier to say with without the town the new town manager um the town will have to inform NEFA that's what I was trying to get in there in this sentence that is not, yeah um, that without um that ahead. if the, if they can't send someone but I don't want to say, repeat what we said before then the town will need to inform NEFA that we cannot um yeah accept and I would that, put that, it on the town to inform them that they're not accepting yeah. So how do we say that? So if the town of Amherst cannot, um, I, I mean, that's what we said before, about, so I was repeating myself, but. How about we hope that the town can dedicate appropriate staffing to this project? That's good. Otherwise it will need to inform NIFA that we will be unable to accept the $10,000 grant. That's good. Uh, so I got the first part. If we hope that the town can designate appropriate staff for this project. Otherwise it will need, otherwise it will need to inform NIFA that we cannot accept the $10,000 grant for the project. Do we want to say designate or dedicate appropriate staff? I, I think designate is good. You know, um, and since we haven't been very editorial in it, very, it's been pretty subtle. You, I think you might could say for this significant project. And then a semicolon, please. <laughs> Oh, sorry, before in the in the sentence before. Uh, we hope that the town can designate appropriate staff for the significant project yeah. semicolon. Yeah. Uh -huh. And you can say otherwise the town will need to inform NEFA, not it. Yeah. Okay. Um, for this. Maybe you should say grant. I don't know. I would say grant. A grant, grant project, maybe. That's yeah, no. better. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Um, okay. I got a new this is a new computer. I really am struggling with it. I got it a week ago. Okay. We have the town otherwise, the instead town. of say otherwise, comma, the town will need to inform NEFA. I'm going to need a, a glass of wine after this. <laughs> That's okay. The town. I'm wondering if your insert button is stuck or something. Is something, something weird with your computer? Something is weird. Yeah. Okay. So um, we have the, this is pretty much the bones of this is done. Um, at this point it's 740. Okay. And I, you're, you know, you're, uh, we respect, I mean, your, your time is really appreciated, right? <laughs> um, so Shona, what do you think about our uh, proposing to send this to the town and voting on it and and putting this thing to bed? Yeah. Okay. Um, I would like to make a proposal. I'd like to move. So who's so? Wait, who's sending this? Okay. Um, Shoshona is sending this as the chair. Yeah. Um, oh, on the behalf of the entire commit commission. Yes. Right. I prefer you say on behalf of. I propose that Shoshona send the letter that we have all written together to the town of Amherst regarding this project. I second. Okay, all in favor? Shoshona Aye. can't see hands, so <laughs> is everyone raising their hand? Lori, is your hand raised? Yeah. yeah all right, Shoshona, everyone's hand has raised. Okay. So, this so Terry this proposed yeah. that we send that Shosh 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 Shoshana. <laughs> And it was uh, unanimous. Send the following letter written by us to the town of Amherst. Unanimous. Passed unanimously. 
by all those present. P-A-S-S-E-D. Ah. Yeah. And I guess you want to finish that sentence. We look forward to hearing back from. The town. From, I don't know, Shoshona, can you say who, who you think is going to respond to this? Um, well, initially it'll be Angela, but um, when somebody actually gets appointed, it'll probably be whoever it is that's getting appointed will be contacting, or maybe it'll be the town manager. I don't know. But I imagine this will get an immediate response from Angela right away saying, you know, like something like we're working on it and or where she's sending it up to. And Shoshana, should I send this to you? Yeah, send it to yes. me. I can send it, Angela. With, with copying all of us. Okay. I hope I have everyone. Shoshana, what's your email? Um, oh, I don't want to say it on the thing. On. Oh, okay. All right, I'll find it. So I'll send it to you and can you forward it to everyone else if it doesn't have everyone else on the email because I'm not sure I have everyone, but I might in my well, email chain. It would probably be better if Shoshana sent you everybody and everybody's email because she has it. And then the yeah. real thing goes to them. They can see that it was CC'd to everybody. I may have everybody. So if I do, I'll just do it. Okay. If not, if you don't, you've got, you you've got emails from, I have gotten emails and they're in my email chain thread yeah, somewhere. It should so be, it should be I should have it. Okay. Somewhere, unless I deleted it. All right. So this piece of business is put to bed, right? <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> Yay. It's only 7.45. <laughs> yeah. So, okay. So, um, and I am going to need Thank to... you everyone. I appreciate your working through this. I, I'm glad that we don't, I mean, I think this is a really good step. Yeah. I, and I kind of figured we would went to eight, we'd go to eight, but I don't think I can go more than that. I knew this was going to take some time. I'm really appreciative of your time. So I, I'm sorry it took so long, but let's move along to whoever is next on the agenda. Thank you very much. And the other issue on the agenda is the strategic plan. And that's going to take longer uh, than I think I would like to propose that we start a task force of people who are interested in working on the project of creating uh, you know uh, the baseline of, of, a, of a strategic plan obviously it wouldn't be creating the entire thing but coming up with some backbones and 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 starting that project and I, then I would like that project to continue on if we can possibly have a, uh, a get together later this spring or early summer in person um, for a number of hours at the same time to talk about this. I think that would be really helpful to our, our cause here. I have a question, Terry. Um, when you say task force, are you limiting it to members of this commission or are we bringing in people, artists and community members to get a broader perspective. So I think that the task force is 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 a mechanism that we can use uh, for open meetings, so that we can. Um, there is no voting. There's only um, kind of workshopping and talking, and then bringing things to the whole commission together. So it's a little bit less limited in its scope um, and its rules. I believe I'm. I think I've got that right. That's that's the reason for it, but it would not at all be. This would only be a very first, the for only first steps. I would love to bring in more and, and have more collaboration, and you know that's a large question too. So, so I, I guess I'm not clear on your response. So, in other words, the task force would just be people on the commission, or we would try to enlist artists, et cetera, in the community to join the task force to help us create the vision. 
the second time, not the first, the first time it would be just the people on the commission to lay out the plan for what to do next. And then we open it up. I see. Open okay. it up community collaboration town manager talk about that whole umbrella idea it's really just a basic I, putting together ideas and a okay. scope and 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 then and then from there we bring that information those ideas to the commission together to talk about and that yeah. that meeting i hope will be the one we are all together at that workshop so that's my hope without jim's presence i i don't know i know how a task force would relate to the public meeting laws so if if, there was, if this were a committee if this were a committee yeah i think no more, than more strict i believe is my understanding you can create a committee but a task force is not the level at the level of of committee and i i may need to make sure that that's okay with jim i guess we should clarify that first i mean i'm, I'm all for having a, a focused discussion on this because I, I think it needs time and attention you know not at the end of the meeting that we've been crafting <laughs> how to refuse ten thousand dollars it would be nice to spend most of the time trying to actually gain ten thousand dollars or more um, i've been looking at open meeting law and i'm trying to i've been trying to figure out where where this lives so that it's easier to have these conversations and um yeah. I, I I talked a little bit to the um, commission that I am a contractor for, and I talked to Stuart Akita, who's a chair, and he told me that sometimes they use the apparatus of a of a um, focus, like a focus group or a target or a task um, task force kind of um, as that mechanism of throwing around some ide ideas and putting them together to bring to the commission, and that it has less it's a little bit less strict rules with how you can speak. And you always still uh, engage the public and invite them to any task force meetings. But I think there's a little bit easier parameters. Um, but I do think we do need to run it by Jim. Yeah, so assuming that or we Angela. can do it um, and, oh, without okay. running a That's right. Yeah, but, Angela too, sure. Yeah, uh, yeah, I, I would definitely support that. I, I'd, I'd like to be a part of that as well. Yeah, but I think right. like, as long as it's just three because we're a group of seven if three of us met together that's not considered something that has to be public meeting okay and as long as like there's no like voting going on <clears throat> yeah this would there would be no this would only be for brainstorming yeah so we have two people involved anybody else might be interested and we can ask we can ask uh dara and mikey if they're interested or mikey and um jim All right. Um, okay. So in so who who are the three? Well, right now it's Robert and me, and we don't have a third yet. I I would need to know when it is to know if I could do it or not. So yeah, this this would not be an in person unless you we all wanted to get together. This could also be something we do on a Zoom and chat. Okay. I don't really have a date set up for it. I'm just kind of proposing and see, seeing if anybody's interested in it and then we can go forward. I think you need to have something like this so, so that you know how you want to talk about stuff and, yeah. you know, and do a little research maybe. Right. Yep. Yep. Well, we've so got some good. documents that people can look at in the, um, there's a, a folder that was shared with you all that you can kind of, I don't know if anybody, if you've had the time to read those documents. I don't uh, know. I looked, I looked on one of them and I can't get in the folder. So I can't either. And oh, I, um, the only thing I could look at was the 11 page call document. Okay. I'll try to figure that out. I thought that had opened up permissions. Sorry. It's okay. I I looked at them. Some of them are like very long and like they're for cities a lot. I think um, it would be like some, you know, a big task for, for our group. To it's really supposed to inform. It's not. We're not. Yeah, document ideas. <laughs> but there's another one that's much less. I forget which town that one was, but it that one seemed a little more doable. But that 51. Yeah, people. I Go I ahead. had shared a, a number of those, and it was really more just for informational purposes. Not that we would not uh, make yeah. carbon copies, and obviously depend. You know, given the 
size of our town relative to some of the others. Um, yeah. Well, I mean, and you don't have to like reinvent the wheel too, because like one of them was actually put out there for, you know, art commissions to kind of lift from. So that mm -hmm. seemed. Like I, I shared the one from Arlington because Arlington is is the same size town as Amherst is, and they have a thriving art community and um, a, a large uh, investment from the town that they have asked and had gotten and received and get lots of MCC funding and. I thought that was an appropriate um, thing to look at because it's the same size town. So um, yeah, yeah, good. yeah, that's great. Okay, well, great. Um, so Robert uh, and Dara, maybe were you interested? Not not sure if you're interested. Are you you interested? Depending on yeah, it just depends on when it is. Okay. Um, how about I send out an email and we'll figure out a time that we can get together. Is that okay? Okay. Mm -hmm. And I'll I'll send it to everybody so that everybody can be you know obviously can be involved and. Well, maybe I can't do that. Can I do that? Because this fits more than three, then that's not a good thing. All right, I'm going to send Robert and Darren email. Okay. Thank Great. you. Okay. All right, and um, sorry, I got to reverse back. When we were talking about the portal gallery, about like looking at the call for artists, somebody who was it that is going to be looking for um, a call for artists? template to for that project no i was gonna see if there was something from the amherst cultural council that we could borrow to see what okay parameters around this are and etc I, I still i don't know anything about it except where there's some windows <laughs> yeah. i know we need to see like last year's or, or a prior years and we could crib that and move forward with that i guess I'd love this to be part of our strategic planning. It just feels like we're just going to put something out there. We're not really yeah. you know, have any like future. Well, the last time we did it, we didn't do a call for artists. It was like an invited thing. So it was completely different than how we're moving forward with it this time. Um, yes. but, Question. So is that, that money, field trip that money to... is from the cultural council? Yeah. The $2,000? Yeah. So could, yeah. could we not explain to them that we're a commission and a bit of a transition and that we need a little more time. I mean, is there some, it's a fine, it's a financial year thing. It has to be spent in this. Financial it has to be spent by the fiscal, so the year. fiscal year ends at the end of June. So before July 1st, all money has to be spent for these kind of grants. It's a, it's well, a yeah. Okay. You said last yes. time you, an artist was asked and there was not a call for artists. Does there have to be a call for artists this time? No, there doesn't have to be no. So the money was just given to us to have an artist do something in the portal portal gallery. Correct. So do we ever have to validate our spending with the the cultural council? They yeah, just, we have to send them receipts at the end. Yeah, okay. Um so there's an old adage that when you get a grant, the so the more grants you get, the more grants you expect to get for the next year. So you get a grant and you spend it, you know what I mean? And then the next year you get a grant and that's how you kind of grow getting grants. Now, if we're going to turn down a $10,000 grant, which sounds like might happen, I sure don't want to turn down any other grants. If this one has already been granted, it's a small one. I think we should try to find a way to make this one happen. Um, I think it's a little bit less involved in it. We can put out a call for artists and hopefully hopefully that's not a real difficult one to do. Uh, which is shown a leaving, I'm really nervous about who is going to have the legacy of information going forward for things like this. And that does give me some pause. Yeah. I'm a little worried about that part. Yeah. But I, I have know. this large stack of folders here to go through, so. <laughs> yeah. A lot of that stuff, I think, is really old, though. More of the recent stuff is in the Google folder. There's not a lot in that Google Drive, though. So I, I do have this lovely, this lovely uh, flyer. Oh, yeah, there was nice. one other thing. There was one other thing. I did hear uh, when I was chatting with, um, with Angela on a, about some other issue, she did mention that... Um, Paul Bockelman was 
delighted by the Electrify Amherst and yeah you know and there's a lot of he's received a lot of community feedback and there's a big interest in that coming back to life great that's awesome and so um they're essentially like really wishing that we would bring that back for the next grant cycle the electrify what, what, what was that electrify electrify amherst that's the um the utility boxes oh i love oh. those those are the best projects or do we have a lot of transformer boxes in town that still need to be arted up? Yes. <laughs> I have not been all over Amherst. I haven't like noted every one, but there are beautiful transformer boxes in Amherst. Their yeah. the art is gorgeous. I'm, you know, I'm moving from Arlington where we have this project as well. Um, and it's a great project. You you pay the artists, you know, it's it's a really nice project. It, it beautifies the streets. I'm a big, big fan of this project. Yeah, and it's really good for community building. There's a lot of because there's so many of them there it's like an opportunity for people to really like take ownership of their town by you know yeah. contributing to the artwork in it this is the kind of thing that if if the town manager wants to see it then we go in front of the finance committee and say if you'd like us to beautify our streets we'd like to ask for some money you know so that we could pay artists because we're not going to be putting out calls for artists for this kind of a project and not attaching any money because calls mm -hmm. for art artists need to get paid is yeah. is the um do you have paperwork on how this was done before yes yes and is that this Ter terry do you have access to that in those google docs there's some in the google docs and i think there is some paper in the basket on that too okay i'll take a look i'm i'm very excited about that project i will yeah i'll be the, i'm a big fan yeah the previous so, person to work that project the point person was amy crawley this so is great visibility for the for the commission too. It really is. It's a good thing to attach our name to. This is a very visible thing that people see that you do. Yeah, it's, a lot of people are very delighted with it. Well, cool. Okay, so what I'm going to do, I'm doing two things. I'm sending Robert and Dara an invitation to a Zoom meeting to talk about strategic planning. And I'm emailing the Amherst Cultural Council to try to get more information about the Portal Gallery uh, uh, grant we got for that so that I have that. Okay, and that's what I'm doing. And I'm sending an email, sorry, three things. And I'm sending an email also back to Kim Setso with NEFA saying that we can meet on the 16th. Okay. That's Do I need thinking. to write all that down in our minutes? Uh, I think we already, I, I think we've already, already said all that. I think it's there. Okay, and I'm going to, I'm going to send this letter to Great. all of you. Great, thank you. And finish the minutes. Yeah, and I'm gonna send that to um, to Angela, and I'm gonna talk to Kamal Peters. Great, thank you. Oh, that's fantastic. Thank you, and Robert. Yeah, your hands up. Yeah, question, uh, Shoshana. Is there information, uh, any details, or anything you have on the treasurer's role, and if I need any passwords or anything? Because right now I have nothing. Have you been appointed? Is there an election? How does that work? Well, I don't. That's the other thing. I don't know. I, I mean, in was, the past, been like you I know, think it was default because no one else volunteered. <laughs> oh, I, I would like to make a motion to make Robert <laughs> to make Robert the treasurer. I second. All in favor, raise your hand. Aye. Yay, yeah. Robert. Thank you. <laughs> um, the way that I've been doing it in um as like the last person standing kind of thing with um the the grants and all that was um every once in a while i'll talk to holly bauer um wait no she changed her name holly drake in um the town hall she's like the assistant to the comptroller and i just ask her what our balance is and like whenever there's like a spending there's like this procedure with like you, this uh, form that you fill out and like the chair and the treasurer sign it and then they um, give it to the town and then the town will like cut the check. And um, so if I were to email Holly. Uh, she's perhaps... also. The you to. Sorry. She's also the person you bring that to when you're doing that paperwork. OK, maybe I'll just send her an email and, and she can kind of walk me through the processes. Okay. Thank you. For and is there any problems. other, do we have any sort of uh, 
spreadsheet or anything with any uh, budget that had been created or that doesn't yeah, there, there is a spreadsheet in the Google group in the sheets, um, but it's not up to date. It'll need some love. How would that happen? Would it, um, well, he'll have to get into the sheets. Can you share that with him? Um, oh, is okay. I don't think he's got. Um, I thought yeah, you were the. Do I have access to that? I can too. I don't know if you had it open. All right, I'm gonna. I'll sign in here. Um, I'm keeping an eye on this clock, and it's eight oh four. Yeah, it is. I'm, yeah. I'm okay. Yep. Sorry, guys. All right. Did you get that, Robert? Uh, did I get what? Uh, an email from me just now saying that you have been put into uh, this document this sheet uh i've added terry and robert to the spreadsheet great i see it yes okay. i i okay. see that uh the running balance seems to have stopped at 2019. Oof. <laughs> <laughs> um i <laughs> Do not plan to recreate the detail uh, for the last three years. So whatever Holly tells me the balance is at this point, uh, that is our starting balance. I think that's where we start. Yeah, yeah just remember that 2000 of that is for, um, the, is for the portal gallery and you know somewhere around 500 is for um, the poetic dialogue. And the rest is just our money. And we still can't vote just to keep Robert Frost with DPW. <laughs> I mean, we could vote on it if there was that a- That would be a shame. <laughs> I think it makes a statement of sorts. <laughs> I just leave Emily there, no Robert. <laughs> it would make the- um, Emily Dickinson fans happy. There you go. <laughs> All right. Are we? Do we have any other business? Any new business? Or I think we need to let Lori Nothing. go. I think we yeah, should call please. for adjournment. Yeah. I, when I, is our next meeting? Um, I'll send out a doodle. Okay. Unless Terry, you want to do it as the emerging chair, it seems. Oh God. <laughs> emerging chair. You just want me to be the emerging chair. <laughs> she's, she's, corner. Corner. she's cornering you. Oh, I, know. I know. I don't know, guys. I so he, I mean, I, I, I'm sorry, Lori. I don't mean to take your time. Real quick. Um, I know we need a chair. I know. Uh, I've lived here for less than a year, <laughs> and I feel so not ready to take on a chair position. I I am. I have ambition and have things that I want to do together with you all. I'm really excited about. But uh. I don't feel like I'm uh, <laughs> ready, <laughs> but I'm hoping somebody else on the commission is. And if not, then I'm 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 I'll do my best. You know. So. I think you might. I think you might be it. I'm also not stepping up on this because I don't have the time to take that on. I but I certainly will support you and you know back up and help you with it. Meet All with right. you when needed. Okay, we're we gonna talk about this more next month because I gotta, I don't know, I'll talk to Mikey and I'll talk to the gym and we'll figure it out. So um, okay. we'll figure it out. Shoshona, we should all get together and have wine though. Yeah. Yes, I'd love to meet everybody. Yeah, yeah that would be nice. <laughs> all right, um, so we'll all talk in the doodle and thank you so much for your time, everybody. Thanks everybody. Thank you. Thank you everybody. <laughs> all right, have good a good night. night. Thank you. Thanks.